So, the offseason is quietly starting to begin for the Yankees, and they have their eyes on a starting pitcher. Who is the... So, playing mock GM, we're all putting our GM hats on. The Yankees obviously have pitching needs and offensive needs, okay? And let's talk about addressing both, but in a way so that if they get somebody like Cody Bellinger, it's going to affect how they address pitching and vice versa. So, and this is reporting right from John Harper. And why? And more reporting is going to come out. So, and more news is going to come out. So, if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out this when this type of stuff. I'll be putting out all reporting. Yankees are not Yankees, good or bad. And um, as we go on during this whole entire off season, I'll be reporting all off season. I'll be live during the winter meetings, during the sign announcement, and um, and all be putting out videos on all free agency signings, team and player, and contract. So lots of stuff to look forward to this offseason. I'm excited to report it with you and I'll report it to, to you. And uh, I hope you're all having a great week, by the way. So John Hopper's reporting that the Yankees are, you know, if they happen to sign somebody like Cody Bellinger, and the Yankees obviously have acknowledged publicly, too, that they need to address their offense, right? But what I'm hearing is what, what, John, what John Hopper's saying is that the Yankees necessarily won't be having an appetite to dole out another nine-figure pitching contract because there's two already. Cole has one, Rodon has one. So they may not be going after this Japanese pitcher, right, Yamamoto. But what I'm hearing is that they have somebody named Jordan Montgomery in, in their sights. Former Yankee, has experience, low three low three to mid three ERA in both American League and National League. He's shown that he can perform in a big stage in the postseason. Question is, will he have an appetite to come back? The Yankees, we don't know yet. And the fact is, too, he was acquired at the trade deadline, so he's not attached to a qualifying offer. So the Yankees do not have to forfeit anything but cash to sign somebody like Jordan Montgomery. And again, his contract will be like, let's just say it's five years, eighty million bucks, so sixteen million dollars a year. It's a lot more than he's made. That's half of what Rodon's making, and a quarter of what Cole's making, and it would still be probably a third of what Yamamoto will be making. So, but is it enough? It's definitely an upgrade in the rotation for the Yankees because I don't see Severino coming back. I don't see Herman coming back. And I, I, I now personally, I think Nestor Cortez is probably better suited for long relief at this point. And Montgomery's 30 also, so you have to take that into consideration too. Blake Snell is going to cost at least twice as much. So is Aaron Nola. Okay, that's a given. So is Montgomery a fit? Would you be okay with it? I know a lot of folks wanted Montgomery back. They didn't want him traded to begin with for Harrison Bader. So I think a chunk of fans will be pretty happy here. But does it does it do enough for them? If they got Cody Bellinger and Jordan Montgomery, would you be happy with that offseason? I mean, that addresses two holes, not all the holes that they have. But again, it's still in that upgrade over what they had. But would you be happy with it? Um and I, I mean, I'd like to, I mean, I would love to get Yamamoto. He's 25. And the fact is, it'll probably cost a six, seven, six, maybe even eight year deal. And if you give an opt out after five years, let's just say he opt out, he opts out after five years and goes for another contract. That's the beginning of Jordan Montgomery's new contract starting this next year in 2024. So put the timing in perspective. And I say the same thing about Soto. If he opts out after five, it's the same thing as. Otani's starting his new contract at 30. Like, those types of things, the age having an advantage, and I think they need to be taken into consideration. So, but um, would you be happy with Montgomery? Would it be enough? I would still like to get another starter to go along with Montgomery um, just to add depth to the rotation because the Yankees' rotation is always getting bludgeoned with injuries, always more so than any other team. So, to the point where a lot of fans think they need to evaluate their medical staff and their training staff and analytics staff and can't really blame them. Can't really blame them. But that's the reporting right now. It sounds like they have their eyes targeted on Jordan Montgomery. And uh, But will it be enough to get them to the next level? Cole, Rodon, Montgomery. I mean, I'd be okay with Montgomery. I'd be okay with Montgomery and somebody. I'd be more okay with Montgomery and somebody else too. 
um, I'd be very much okay with Yamamoto. But again, what we're hearing now is the appetite for a spending. Because obviously they, they realize they have to spend on both sides of this, right? The pitching and the offensive side. And there's not an impact player that they can bring in that's going to be cheap. You can get a Jamer Candelario, but is that enough? No. Okay. Like a Bellinger or Tanya or whoever these guys are. None of them are going to come cheap. So with that in mind, let's talk about Jordan Montgomery. I want to know what y'all think. Would you be okay with Jordan Montgomery and let's say Martin Perez or Jordan Montgomery? And what if they can get Julio Urias on the cheap, even though he's got baggage that comes along with it? Just a thought. I don't know if I would do it personally, but they may consider if he comes on the cheap, like a one-year prove-it deal. Uh, or Jordan Montgomery and obviously Michael King gets a shot in the rotation, right? or Montgomery and a trade for a starter. Maybe they'll trade for one of the Marlin starters then, and that makes it look a heck of a lot better. Braxton Garrett's pitching tonight against the Phillies, so we'll see how well he does. Um, Montgomery and Garrett adding two lefties to the rotation. Not bad. That's a nice little get right there. So this is a good for, uh, food for conversation and food for thought. Let's talk about this. And, you know, I'll be, I'll be going live and um, either tonight or tomorrow night. And so we can talk about stuff like this. And I definitely wanted to get your insights on the Trevor Bauer story, too. And I'll, I'll be talking about that, too. So uh, if you haven't heard, there's a lot more the plot thickened in his story. So I've got some information for you. So, but let's talk about this. Have a great week, everybody. See you all next time.